Okay, so what's going on today is I got this faucet. It's, um, I don't know if it's called a bar faucet or whatever, but we have a water filter underneath the sink. I'll show you that in a second. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. And uh, in the course of uh, three or four months, it gets plugged up so much that the um, flow of water is very slow. So my reasoning was that I don't need filtered water um, to do dishes, and I don't need filtered water to wash hair in that sink, in the kitchen sink. So if I replumbed it so that it just came out of one faucet to fill drinking water bottles and uh, the coffee pot and cooking water, then the water that we're ingesting would be uh, purified and the rest of the water wouldn't be plugging up the filter. Because I have this um, theory about filters anyway. The first day you use a filter, it stops all of today's crap that's in the water, or whatever you're filtering, and it holds it there in the filter. And then the second day, it runs all of the stuff that you're going to use that day through all of the crap that you saved from yesterday. And in 30 days, you're running all of the stuff that you went, that you're using today, through 30 days worth of crap that you're saving in the filter. That sounds okay, because you think, well, it's filtering it out, right? But filters are not 100% efficient. So let's say they're 95% efficient. So 5 goes into 20, or 5 times 20 is 100. So in 20 days, you got a hundred percent that you're running it through, and if you're getting five percent of that hundred, five times, you're getting twenty percent crap coming through with the water. I don't know if the math makes sense, but you get the idea. I'm not real big on water filters. Um, I'm big on water filters, but I'm not big on water filters that are twenty days old. So anyway, what we're doing today is we're going to put this in there so that we don't use up the filter as much just running water for washing hair or doing dishes or whatever. It's going over there into that area. That's the filter that's already there. And we're going to put it up on the, the faucet up here. I got the hole marked, but I didn't trust myself to get the hole exactly where it needed to be in order that this um, plastic nut wouldn't hit the frame of the sink. So I drilled a small pilot hole. You can see it right there from the bottom and yes that's how far off I was. Um, just laying under the sink trying to measure where the corner of the metal sink was the best I could. So that's what's going on. So the next thing is I got to drill a hole big enough for the sink faucet. As the uh, crazy Russian hacker says, safety first. Yes. Well, I started that sink project about a week ago, and I got to that point where I drilled a hole in the counter and I had all of that uh, Corian sawdust shavings. And I went to get my little vacuum cleaner, and the vacuum cleaner didn't work. So I spent an hour trying to get the vacuum cleaner to work, and it never did. Wound up using a broom and a dustpan. And I never got back to finishing uh, um, the video. I did finish the faucet, 
and uh, now I'm editing this and so I realized I never finished it and I need to show you that I got it done and it works. So here's the finished product. It's been working really really nicely and um, we've been using it for a week and here's how it goes. And then this one is unfiltered. So that's cold only, but we don't need filtered hot water. That's what's going on. Thanks for watching.